He jumped over the handrail, which was five steps up, landed face first into a mud puddle. Just, and I'm sitting there just dying. I'm laughing so hard at what I just did. Howdy, gang. Crazy kid back. Um, today I'm going to do a, a bit about when I stopped at home invasion. Um, my brother got uh, broke into. And, uh, well, before you get all, uh, you know, like, oh, I'm sorry about your brother. Um, they didn't get anything of value. Uh, first and foremost, you have to have something of value for a, a burglar to get something of value. And we knew it was meth heads because um, they took the strangest stuff. Like, first and foremost, they went into my brother's place. But they took the strangest stuff, like broken speakers and broken this and broken that. And, um, a bowl full of pennies, nickel, pennies and nickels when there was rolls of nickels, dimes, quarters, uh, dollar coins, and two dollar coins sitting right next to it. They took like two dollars worth of pennies and nickels worth, and there was like a couple hundred bucks sitting there in rolled coins. Um, they took uh, a bottle of booze that my brother didn't like, and he was getting ready to throw it out. Um, so you know they took the, the goofiest stuff, and uh, so what happened was is about a week after he got broke into, my my uncle calls me up. And invites me to go to a, um, a haunted house with my goddaughter, and I'm like all game for that, you know. But he gave me three weeks' notice. Well, he should know by now. You don't give me that kind of time because I'll go come up with something stupid. And I did. I went to the uh, the thrift store, and I saw this werewolf costume that looked really good. It made me look like uh, Michael J. Fox, um, Teen Wolf. So. I buy this costume and I go over to my brother's place and he asked me to host it for him. And usually, you know, a little while after somebody gets broke into, they, uh, the, the burglars will come back and grab the stuff that the insurance company replaced. Well, my brother had something for them because he didn't have insurance, so they weren't getting squat. So I bring this werewolf costume over to my brother's place and I show it to him. I say, hey, when it gets dark, you know, I'm going to say, oh, I don't feel so good and I quickly put all this stuff on. And then when, you know, a little bit of light comes on, I'm like, you know, for my goddaughter to scare the crap out of her. So <laughs> I, I show him this costume, and I'm like, oh, this is funny, eh? He goes, oh, yeah, that's great. That's going to be funny. So uh, he goes off to work, and I'm sitting at his place, you know, making it look like somebody's home. And I'm just messing around on his PlayStation for a little while. And a couple hours goes by, and all of a sudden I hear something digging at the door. And I look over it. And in the field of my vision, I see this bag that I brought this werewolf costume in. And I'm like, oh, buddy, you picked a bad day to come back here. This is not your day at all. So I quickly put this stuff on. I got the puff of hair. I got the teeth. I got the, you know, the mask, the gloves. And I stand there at the door. And I didn't put all that stuff on. So when the door opens up, I'm like, hi, Bob. No, no. This guy's going to know not to mess with this house again. I'm going to make this very clear. So I'm standing there, and all of a sudden the door swings open. And th this African-American guy who's kneeling down at the door picking the lock takes one look at me, and I'm like, <laughs> Why? All the color went out of his skin and directly into his shorts. And you could smell it. He shit himself right there on the spot. He jumped over the handrail, which was five steps up, landed face first into a mud puddle. Just, and I'm sitting there just dying. I'm laughing so hard at what I just did. So I locked the door, and I run to the bathroom because, like, I'm about ready to lose some liquid myself. And I'm, you know, going to the can, and I'm just thinking about, you know, what this dude's saying to his buddies when he gets back to, back to the place. You know, like, oh, man, you don't want to go near there, man. Oh, no. You know, you should see what they got for pets. So that made me laugh even more. So 
you know, I, I mean, there was no way with me laughing that hard, I there's no way I could drive. And that's back when I was able to drive. So I, I had to calm down a little bit, and I'm you know, just kind of messing around on my brother's PlayStation for a little while longer. About 2:30 in the morning, I finally feel like I'm you know calm enough that I can you know make the trip. So I got, I get in my car and I take off, and I'm, I'm driving along and I down this street. And I'm doing like maybe two kilometers over the speed limit, and I get pulled over by the police. So this rookie cop comes to the door, and I got my insurance and my my paperwork all ready to go. You know, got the window down and everything, and I hand it to him. And he's like, uh, he asked me the stupid question that they always ask: Do you have any idea why I pulled you over? Like I'm gonna I'm gonna admit to something that you don't know about. That's not how this. That's not how I work. So I just kind of looked over at the clock on the radio, and I looked back up at him, and I looked back at the clock, and I went checking to see if I'm up past my bedtime. Well, this cop started laughing so hard he almost fell over. And he he goes, "No, I'm just checking to see if your paperwork's all up in order. You know, routine spot check." I'm like, well, why didn't you start with that? We could have avoided all this crap. And so he goes back, checks my paperwork out, everything's fine, you know. Comes back up, hands me my stuff. Have a nice day. But uh, yeah, that's that's uh, uh, my story about how I stopped a home invasion. Um, yeah, you don't need to hurt anybody to to stop a home invasion. Get creative. It, it's a whole lot more fun. So have a nice day, folks. Um, I hope everybody has a wonderful day. Hope everybody enjoyed themselves. Much love to everybody. Hey, gang. Uh, just one, just a friendly reminder here. Um, don't forget to like you made the Fonzie. Share with all your friends and neighbors and anybody you think could use a laugh. Um, leave a comment below uh, whether you like my material or whatever. Um, tell me how I'm doing as a channel. Um, don't forget to subscribe because that really helps out my channel. Uh, help, helps my channel grow and get you know through the algorithm um, and uh, if you're uh, interested in uh, my material maybe you check out some more of my some more of my uh, stuff that I have available and don't forget to ring the ring the ding dong for this ding dong have a great day folks <laughs>